Now, as the constitutional deadline in Iraq for naming a new prime minister ends on Tuesday, Iraqi protesters reiterated their demands that the nominee for the prime minister's post should be an independent and not accused of corruption. Now, the renewed demonstrations took place in Baghdad's main protest, that is the Tahrir Square. Iraqi protesters rejected Mohammad Shia al Sudani's nomination to become the country's new prime minister. Al Sudani is a front runner to head Iraq's interim government amid ongoing protests which forced the resignation of former Prime Minister Mahadi in November. No, not vote that she uh, said Mohammed Shia al Sudani. You know, it was a little bit of a lot of people who were in the country. And it was a little bit of a day. And I know, Mazale would have to be a little bit. At least 400 people have been killed at the hands of security forces and unidentified assailants firing live ammunition and tear gas to disperse the demonstrations since they erupted in October. The focal point for the spontaneous, leaderless protests have been staged over long-standing grievances including government corruption, unemployment and a lack of basic services. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Warning the U.S. against imposing sanctions, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has threatened to shut down the Inkerlik Air Base. The primary users of the Air Base are the U.S. Air Force and the Turkish Air Force. This after the U.S. Senate's Foreign Relations Committee approved a bill sanctioning Turkey through the Countering America's Adversaries Through Sanctions Act. At least 10 people were killed in a fire at a factory outside Bangladesh's capital in a second deadly factory fire in the area in less than a week. Ten bodies were recovered after firefighters brought the blaze under control. The cause of the fire is yet to be ascertained. A magnitude 6.9 quake jolted the southern Philippines, killing at least three people and causing a three-story building to collapse, setting off a search for people feared to have been trapped inside. The earthquake struck an area of about 6 kilometers northwest of the Padada town at a depth of 30 kilometers. 14 people were killed after a bus veered off a road in Nepal. The bus fell 100 meters along the Aranico Highway. 18 people were injured in the accident. <laughs>